Hey everyone, in this video we'll have a look at how to install and configure an IRC client for Twitch. Now there's uh, quite a few IRC clients out there uh, and most of them, if not all of them, should work with uh, Twitch. But we're gonna have a look at HexChat, which is a free download, uh, so that's a plus. And it's easy to install and pretty easy to configure. So let's go ahead and download and install this. I'm going to download the 64-bit uh, version because I'm on a 64-bit Windows system. I'm going to save this. Okay, it's downloaded. Now I'm going to install this. I'm going to install it in the default location. Uh, what do I need here? Okay, if I look at the drop down, there's normal, minimal, and custom. I think I'm just gonna go with minimal for this video. So click on next. Now it's asking me if I want an uninstaller and a start menu icon. Uh, yes, I do want that, but that means you need to leave this uh, disabled or unselected. So click on next and click on install. Run hex chat. Yeah, download visual. I don't think I need it. I think I already have this. In case you don't have the C++ uh, package, you'll have to download it uh, separately. So click on finish. There we go. Hex chat. Ready to go. Now the way IRC works is it lets you connect to um, one or more networks. Uh, networks are a bit like, uh, let's say, cities. And within those cities you would then go to a certain street or a certain house if you want. And it's the same thing with the networks. You connect to a network and then on that network you connect to one or more channels. Uh, and by default there is a whole bunch of uh, networks already listed within uh, HexChat. But none of them are what we need because we want to connect to the Twitch uh, network. And in case you're planning to only use this with Twitch, I would suggest removing all the networks that are currently there. So basically to clean up the whole list because there's quite a few of them. As you can see, I've cleaned up the list and I left two of the more popular networks in there, which is Freenode and QuakeNet. Uh, we won't be using them, but I just left them in there. Now, nickname, this is your Twitch username. Fill that in in all the fields. And now we're gonna add a new network. So uh, especially important here is the username because that is what HexChat will use to log in to the Twitch chat. So that has to be your Twitch username. So next, click on add. I'm gonna call this Twitch chat. And now we can go ahead and configure the network and we do that by selecting the network in the list and click on edit. And over here at the top you see the servers for the Twitch chat and it has already filled in a default one but of course that's a non-existing one and we gotta add the ones that we need. Now before uh, I go ahead and do that, uh, I'll grab this with the addresses. Now Twitch has recently changed uh, the way you connect to their uh, chat server and it used to be that you connected to the Gym TV IRC uh, network and you did that by using your username followed by a dot followed by gymtvirc.com uh, and that's how you connect it to the network but like I said they recently changed it and they now have their own address and it's the same for everyone so you no longer need the username you now use irc.twitch.tv so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here like that Hit enter now basically this is enough to connect to uh, twitch uh, all you need is uh, an address and a password that i haven't filled in yet but the first thing you need of course is an address and with with that you 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 can already connect to Twitch. Uh, the thing is with IRC, you can have multiple addresses here. 
and uh, when one fails, uh, Hexchat will try to connect to the next one in the list. So, and therefore, I have a few here that are not normal addresses, but pure I IP addresses. And uh, another thing with Twitch is that often their DNS server fails. Uh, which And the DNS server translates this irc.twitch.tv into an IP address. So, and there's a few uh, IP addresses that you can use, and I have them listed here. And we're gonna add each one of those to the uh, server list. So I'm gonna add a new one. It's just copy paste. So I'm gonna add two new copy pastes. There we go. And the last one. Okay. So as you can see now, I have four addresses there. First, it will try and connect to the top one then the next one if this one fails it will try and connect to this one and so on this option connect to select the server only i'm going to leave that unselected because that means as you can see in the tooltip it says don't cycle through all the servers when the connection fails uh, well that's exactly what i want because if one fails i want it to use the next one use global user information what that means is it will use your uh, nickname and username that you filled in here then auto connect to this network at startup i'm gonna enable that so as soon as i start up hexjet it will connect to twitch automatically bypass proxy server i haven't filled one in so but i'm gonna select this anyway uh, use ssl no i don't think twitch uses a, a secure server and then accept invalid no need for that i'm gonna skip this for now then connect command skip that skip that Here's where we need to be, server password. That is your Twitch user account password. So I'm gonna fill that in like that. And now go back to the favorite channel. Uh, here you can list a bunch of channels that you want to connect to automatically every time you connect to the Twitch network. And by default, I want it to connect to my own chat channel. And you do that by using the channel name prefixed with a hashtag. And you can have as many as you want. So I'm just gonna add another one. Um, this is my game, like that. So you separate them by a copper, but no space between uh, the two channels. Okay, so we are now ready to connect to Twitch. Quick recap add a network you edit the network you add the server addresses and you list the irc.twitch.tv one at the top then followed by the IP addresses uh, you fill in a few uh, channels that you want to connect to of course fill in your uh, server password which is your uh, the password of your twitch account and now I'm gonna click on close I'm gonna select twist chat and click on connect Oh, okay, that's interesting. I'm not gonna block that. Okay, so here we go. We are now connected to Twitch via IRC. Of course, on my channel, there's no one. I'm gonna quickly switch to Smart Game. And as you can see, I can see the user list. There's 114 people in the chat now. And I can see who's connecting and disconnecting, etc., etc. And before I finish this video, let me quickly show you a few things. The topic bar, you don't need that. Then go view, channel switcher. Instead of the three, I'm gonna switch to tabs. Now at the bottom, so now instead of on the having the uh, list of channels on the left side, I now have them at the bottom and can switch between them. You can also right click on a tab and set which uh, extra alerts that you want and also if you want to hide the joining and parting messages uh, you can enable this here which is basically the messaging that you see here from the from the server I usually have that disabled because like in a really busy channel it kind of clutters the whole chat so if you enable that you will no longer see these uh, 
uh, messages. I think you will still see the the uh, channel operator status ones, but you won't see uh, people uh, joining and leaving uh, the chat. So that's it for this video. I hope it helps you out in using an IRC client to connect to the Twitch chat rather than using the browser. And I'll probably do another video on using HexChat, but that will be about how to customize it a bit, like with coloring and you know, using some of the Twitch commands uh, for moderation and stuff like that. So uh, until then, but for now, thanks for watching.